I'm Officer Michael Bullock, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, last of B-U-L-L-O-C-K, with the Austin Police Department Public Information Office. Well, today at approximately 6.54 a.m., officers responded to a check welfare urgent call here in the 800 block of West Riverside Drive at the Auditorium Shores City Park. Well, upon arriving on scene, uh, officers lo located an unresponsive male who appeared to have suffered trauma to his head and was bleeding. EMS was called to the scene as well. Uh, this incident was reported by a passerby early this morning who had located the individual. Uh, EMS, once on scene, did uh, pronounce the individual deceased here on scene. As of right now, we don't have a whole lot of, of information as to what led up to this incident, um, and we're still actively working the scene to determine what occurred. So our homicide investigators are on scene and they are working to gather as much information as is possible. As we always do, we are asking for the public's assistance. Uh, if you are in the area that saw anything or heard anything, please do contact us either through Crime Stoppers at 512-472-TIPS, that's 512-472-8477, or through our uh, homicide tip line at 512-477. 3588. At this point in time, uh, we don't have a whole lot of other information. We have been able to garner just a little bit, a little bit of info that has led us to detain one individual who is a person of interest. Um, but other than that, we don't have anybody else in custody, and we are working to determine what uh, what all happened here tonight. Uh, this incident does appear to have happened somewhere after approximately 2 a.m. this morning. Uh, but again, we're working to determine exactly what occurred and when this happened. You so. said um, trauma to the head. Is that blunt force or bullet? At this point in time, I can't really determine exactly what it is. That's going to be up to the medical examiner to determine. Um, all we can say is that it was trauma. So other than that, we're not exactly sure what caused it. And who discovered the body and called it in? Uh, it was a passerby, like a jogger this morning, uh, that was running and saw the individual that called 911 and reported uh, that there was an unresponsive man. You know what time that happened? That was at 654. So 654 is when that was re uh, reported to us. How uh, odd is it for something like this to take place in this public of an area here in Austin? Uh, I can tell you, I personally have worked this sector for approximately five years now, um, and it's very uncommon for us to have an incident here in this public of a place. Should anybody be concerned walking around this park now because of what just took place last night? Based on the limited information that we have, um, you know, and having one person that we're detained and talking with further, we do believe that it is an isolated incident. So as of right now, I don't believe there's an ongoing threat to the public. But you know, with everything that we have going on, we are urging the public to please be aware of your surroundings. And if you see something suspicious, please contact us. Did there used to be some kind of park patrol overnight? that is, you guys don't have anymore? Correct. We used to have a parks unit that was responsible for patrolling these areas. Uh, oftentimes they would start early in the morning um, and they would patrol the area and show up at the park uh, you know, just before a lot of the joggers started coming out. Um, that unit did used to exist but has since been disbanded as a result of our staffing crisis and they're now back working just regular patrol assignments. So you think if you were able to have the park unit, maybe this could have been prevented? It's difficult to say, as we don't know exactly when it is, but it's undoubted that uh, the, the units we have been losing uh, had critical functions within the department, and as a result of our staffing issues, we are losing a lot of resources. The water's no danger to the public. I mean, if the public now could be involved because they're nearby and they're witnessing stuff like that. So I guess you know, that's why even if you're just out here at 6 in the morning, you just need to be really aware of what your surroundings. Yeah. I, I, like I said, we are. We always encourage people. Please be aware of what's going on. Um, you know, we are seeing an increase in crime, so we do want the public to be aware of everything that's going on around them. Um, and obviously, like I said, if you see anything that's concerning or alarms you, please contact us, and we will do our best to get out here and investigate. For, forgive me if you said this. Uh, I don't recall. Did you say or not say? Please might think there's a danger to the public or no? No, at this point in time, the limited information we have indicates it's an isolated incident. Were you able to identify the victim? As of right now, we have not been able to confirm uh, his identi identity. The only thing I can tell you is that it appears that he's a middle-aged white male. Do you know if he was homeless or anything? Um, as of right now, we have indications that the involved parties are potentially homeless, but that's not confirmed right now. Involved parties meaning just the victim? Another individual we have detained. Anything else? All right, y'all, appreciate it. Thanks, Alex. Thank you.
Thanks for being with us here on KXAN Live. Will Dupree coming to you with an update uh, to developing news that has unfolded this morning in South Austin there. Uh, Austin police are investigating a homicide. They say that a passerby found a man unresponsive there in the park at about 6.54 this morning and called police. We want to say that uh, the man there, police are saying, had... Uh, trauma to the head and was bleeding when they found him. Here's another view from above on the Austonian camera as police have cordoned off an area there. That is affecting portions of the park as they continue their investigation. So please note uh, that may affect your bike or run or jog this morning. And traffic is closed on the westbound lanes of Riverside just to the west of 1st Street. So keep that in mind too. Uh, right now, police have very little information to share. They say they have one person of interest detained at this time, but they are not sharing any other details right now. They also cannot share the name of the victim at this point other than to say that he's a middle-aged white man which doesn't offer much information, but anyone who might be able to provide some more details about what the police are investigating at Auditorium Shores can call the following numbers. Anyone with information about this homicide can leave tips at Crime Stoppers. That's 512-472-TIPS. Or you can contact the Austin Police Department's homicide tip line at 512-477-3588. Please stay with us here on KXAN as we continue to develop and share out information about what we're learning from this homicide investigation that's happening at Auditorium Shores in South Austin. Uh, we will put out any other details that we find out throughout the day so you can stay updated with us on our newscast, but also on KXAN.com in the KXAN News mobile app that you can put on your smartphone and sign up for push alerts because we'll be putting those out and uh, sharing that information as soon as we get it in. Thank you all again for watching here on KXAN Live. I'm Will Dupree. We'll see you back here throughout the day with other updates, so please stay with us. Take care.